Well, hi, Paula. Fancy meeting you here. I had never thought I would see you in my kitchen, but I'm so glad to have you along. And an especially big hello to all of my Philadelphia uh, Women of Philadelphia Cream Cheese Buddies. I love the community that has been created through Women of Philadelphia. And I'm so glad to share one of my recipes with you because so many of you have shared your recipes with me and I love them and I'm totally using them and they're making my kitchen a better and happier place. So thank you so much. And of course, Paula and Philadelphia Cream Cheese, thank you for hosting such an incredible opportunity to not only have a contest but an, a community that is so amazing. So let's get started. I wanted to show you today how to make a recipe for stuffed artichokes and I'm going to call them Bayou Stuffed Artichokes. Um, they are amazing and they're so easy. Sometimes I think artichokes can be a little bit fussy but these ones are quite simple. Um, perfect for if you're making a steak or some sort of a meal that um, needs a nice elegant side dish that uh, is easy and can be cooking while you're making all of the other preparations for the meal. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to need four artichokes and you're going to chop the bottom of the artichoke off to make it nice and flat. You want the artichoke to be able to stand up. And then I'm going to chop off the top half. All of those prickly leaves are just going to be chopped right off. And I do not have a good knife in my kitchen and so apparently that one is not going to work. We'll find one that does. Okay, let's do this one. So you're going to chop it off, and <laughs> that's a lot easier time. There's my other knife, but it got dirty while I was getting ready for this, so forgive me for taking way more time cutting this than I need to. Once you get that artichoke cut right off the top, then you're going to take the, um, take, I take a grapefruit spoon and just spoon it right out. Okay, seriously, what? What is up with these crazy leaves? Okay, I need my good knife. Anyway, you're going to take a grapefruit spoon and cut the spoon right off and scoop the center part out. It's the purple part and the edges of a grapefruit spoon make it so easy to take the hairy part out of the heart of the artichoke. So you're going to have this nice artichoke if you have a clean knife. <laughs> that looks a lot better than mine, but I have some examples to show you. So scoop the middle of that out, all of the hairy stuff all of the purple leaves and it's going to create this nice little bowl in the center and then you're going to plop those four artichokes into a bath water, a boiling bath water and let them cook for about 25 minutes. That's going to really soften the leaves up and then prepare them for the filling. So I have these ones that I've um, boiled for 25 minutes and they are going to come right out here. Just going to dump them off so that they're not super wet and then stick them in a nice baking dish on top of my Paula Dean cutting board. So here we are, we're in our baking dish and now we're going to stuff them with a crab and parmesan and lemon mixture that I think is so divine and then they're so fun to eat but I'm going to show you that in a minute. So for the mixture, you're going to need six ounces of crab. Use the best stuff that you can find. I'm here from Colorado and so it's not amazing crab. Um, I have to buy the canned stuff, but if you can find it fresh, by all means, do it. Um, six ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. We need that creaminess from the cream cheese and it's going to make this amazing mixture. You're just going to love it. A half of a jalapeno chopped really finely. Four um, tablespoons of butter. And then about, I don't know, a, a tablespoon of country Dijon, about a teaspoon of chopped garlic, and then a couple of dashes of Worcester sauce. Just stick that all in there and it's smelling so good. I love it, I'm hungry already. Squeeze the juice of a lemon. Whoop. And a little sprinkling of Old Bay seasoning. You don't want it too salty, but, um, you know, we need it a little, have a little kick. So, you're going to just stick that all in a bowl and start to mix it together until it's fairly well mixed together. And then add about a half, well, a fourth or a, a, maybe let's say a third cup of Parmesan cheese. I think I'm going to say 
make it as cheesy as you want. If you add too much or too little, it's not going to matter because that cream cheese is going to make it gorgeous. So you're going to get that all mixed together in your bowl. And it just makes this lovely smelling mixture. It's gorgeous. And once it's all mixed together, it's so easy. You just spoon it right into those artichokes that you've already cooked up. And then, to top it off, I'm going to put a mixture of panko crumbs. Um, you can drizzle yours with butter, but since I already put butter in this mixture, I'm going to call it good. We'll call this the spa version without butter in the panko crumbs. Um, but the panko crumbs right on top are just fine. And these are those Japanese bread crumbs that are nice and light and fluffy, and they're going to give just this gorgeous crunch to your artichoke. So that's it. Once you get that mixture all in there, it looks a little bit like this. Aren't they cute? They look like little flowers with beautiful little garlic buds coming out. I love them. And then you're going to stick that in the oven at 425 degrees for another 20 minutes. You just want the panko crumbs to brown up and that cheese to melt. Everything else is cooked, so it doesn't take too long. Good looky here. I already have some that are ready to go. So let me show you what they look like. When they come out of the oven, they are these gorgeous, browned around the edges artichokes. And this is how you eat them. You're going to take them, dip them in on a plate. Imagine this with a big, juicy bacon wrapped steak. And then you put this artichoke on the side. Perfect for a weeknight dinner, but even better for guests. They're going to think you are the most amazing cook ever. And this is my favorite part, is that it actually creates its own little dip. And so you can pull those off, pull those little artichoke leaves off, dip them in that dip, and then mm, eat it. And seriously, amazing. So good. My favorite part of these, though, is when you get down to the center. You're going to need a fork and knife, so make sure that you set your table with those. And the heart of that artichoke with all of this cream cheese and lemon and crab drizzling all over it. It's the four best bites you've ever eaten in a meal ever. So there you go. Buy you stuffed artichokes. And I will have so many other recipes that I am looking forward to posting because Philadelphia cream cheese just makes for such inspiration in the kitchen. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe, and I look so forward to seeing all the other recipes from Women of Philadelphia. Thank you so much, and happy artichoking. Bye-bye.